Hey guys, this is Zetofan27 from IC Studios now. This is my tutorial on using Riot Gear. Now, before we actually start things off with Riot Gear, let me say that Riot Gear is not what people presume it to be. Riot Gear is actually a set of pre-matted video and pictures, which allows you to edit them easier due to how the color scheme is used with the colors. Now, what Riot Gear will include once you obtain it is it'll include stuff such as brain paintbrush images and they have high and low resolution ones um, you know stuff like that they've got grungy textures that are really nice to use and they're very cool and pretty much you know they're just little effects that add good finishing touches for backgrounds or just little touches here and there that'll give your video that extra little special thing about it. Now the thing I really like to use and that people have noticed that I use are the ink flows. So we're going to open up our ink flows folder. We're going to open up our ink drops. Now here's just a few of them. They have things like that or we can also open up the ink bleeds. These are pretty cool too. Just stuff like that can be used as well. So first things first let's import our first clip alright guys so let's import just a clip real quick I'm gonna go to my uh, ink flows let's just drag one in there so as you can see we have an ink flow here in the timeline right there uh, we can do simple things with Vegas now I say simple because really Riot Gear should be used for something like After Effects where you can really do some cooler stuff. But right for right now, I'm just going to show you how to do it in Vegas and then the next tutorial will be in After Effects, the next part. So as we have here with our clip, let's add a video effect. You can do some really, really basic color corrections. You know, you can add a color corrector to it. For instance, uh, let's just go reset to none. But let's just mess with the color scheme. See how it's given our smoke some color? See, so you can just mess around with that and really just have fun with that. But let's get out of that. Um, you can add a glow, which actually looks really cool. It gives it kind of like a uh, like a deeper look, kind of like a more softened look as the smoke fills out. And uh, another cool thing you can also do is you can actually invert the color of it too. Uh, so if you were to add that a inversion makes the background white and the smoke black. Which is really cool just to give you something different than what everybody else is going to have. And usually when I use rag gear, I actually add a light sharpen to it. Uh, it just gives it a little better definition when you look at it up close or when you render it in WMV it's going to give you a little clearer of a picture it's going to look a little bit better um, another thing I also use sometimes is I use a pinch or a punch to it so for instance if I add this medium punch effect it's gonna you you can't even tell but it's just gonna give you a different smoke look it almost looks like the smoke as you can see here is just kinda like jumping out because of that punch that I added right there so, another thing uh, I've noticed is you can use light rays, and that gives it to look like it's being, doesn't that almost look like a cloud? Like they're just clouds right now with the sun? So, just, you can really make a lot of things using Riot Gear with Vegas. And what's nice about this is they're all in the MOV format, dot .MOV format, and they are at 60 frames per second. And at 60 frames per second, you can slow these down and get some really smooth slowdowns. But for that, we want to use After Effects. So just to show you some other things that we can do with it, we're going to take you to After Effects right now. Guys, now we have this pulled up straight into After Effects with Riot Gear. And let's just start off with our first ink drop. And so as you can see, we have, let me change something real quick. 
We have our ink drop right here. Just our basic ink drop. Really cool looking as you can see how that smoke just spreads out like that. Really cool stuff. And I also have this, which is just one of the many paper textures. It's the grunge texture number 11. And what I'm going to do real quick is just show you how to do something cool where you can, you know, add the smoke to like a background picture or something like that. So what we want to do is you want to first change our blending mode and you can really mess with a lot of these blending modes to get what you want. But what I like to use is classic color dodge. And as you can see, look how it gives that r that smoke a really cool effect right there. How it has that deepish green effect right there. And, you know, just something like that is something you can do with Riot Gear. Um, possibilities, I guess, are pretty much endless. You can slow it down by opening up real quick. Let's go to time, time stretch, you know, depending on how much you want to stretch it. So let's just do a stretch factor of 150%. Since this is at 50, 60 frames per second, you can pretty much slow things down very well in this. That's actually going to run a little bit slower. And what you can also do with this is if you add the different blending modes, you can make things appear out of the smoke almost like what I've done in a couple trailers before. And another thing that you might want to mess with is you can go to eff effect, go to your color correction, and let's go to hue and saturation. And with this hue and saturation we're going to click colorize. And we can actually mess around with these levels and get different colors as you can see as it's changing colors whoa and it's changing colors on us so just something to think about let's change our blending mode back to normal because this will actually give us a better representation of what I was talking about see so you can change colors really easy like that going from the range of the different hues that we have so that's pretty much Riot Gear. If you guys have any more questions, feel free to contact IC Studios. And this is the end of this tutorial.